1891 and it is a vehicle. You can barely see the V on there. Just as I was talking about quarters. Man, silver quarter. Okay. 1909 VDB. That is my very first identifiable VDB. But it is a 1909 VDB. Heck yes. Looks like it was a piece of jewelry of some sort. Maybe held a picture. Or compass something I don't know why that little uh, holes punched through it but it's got a loop like it was on a necklace it's very little ornate and beautiful and it's got a brilliant little patina on there nice and green I'm pretty sure that's an Indian head penny pretty sure that's the headdress I'm gonna pluck it out of there Please be an Indian head penny. Yes, it is. One cent. Oh, man. I can't tell if it's a fatty. I don't think it's a fatty. Let's see here. 1904. Indian head penny. Oh, man. One wipe. Look at that. There's the imprint right there. You can actually see the wreath in there in the center. That is great! I knew there was going to be Indians in here. Everything I'm getting is from the uh, late to very early 1900s. Or late 1800s to very early 1900s. Look at the shape of that thing. Man, one wipe. What do we got here? Oh, military! Oh my god. How old is this? That's a military button. Oh my god. I have no idea how old this could be. Check out the design on this thing. Very, very fancy. Here's the uh, Sterling Sill Plate Company. The back is just as fancy. Huh. Gotta love that. Well, I just dug this up. This is pretty cool. I think this might be a lock plate or something. It says V.R.A. Thompson. It's got a crown on there. That is intriguing me quite a bit. Pretty sure that is like brass. That is cool. I'll be able to look that up and see what it is. But that's my guess, is like a lock plate. Part you slide from the lock. Oh wow, folks. Look at that ornate little beauty in there. Just from how ornate looking that is. And the shape of it, it looked like it sat on a piece of wood. And that was a walking stick or something, but it's tiny. It fits in my palm of my hand there very easily. That is neat. I see something shiny and round in the hole. I am really hoping that is a ring. Let's see. Oh yes, that is absolutely a ring, folks. Huh. Ooh. Don't know if it's real or not. Might be junk metal, but that is absolutely a ring. Huh. It's cleaning up good. I'm pretty sure that's silver. I'll have to clean her up though. But that is shining right up. Alright, I just found a beautiful little either piece to a pocket watch or a compact kit. Look at that design. That is just beautiful. It is all the way around that thing. Very intricate. Here's the inside. I think that... I'm not sure. That could be a back to a pocket watch. 
just as well as it could be a part to a makeup compact. Ring up real good, solid 75, 76 at 6 inches. Alright folks, let's see what else we pull out of here. I'm doing pretty good. Another coin out of here. Second coin, old coin. I mean, there's been hundreds of coins out of here, but it's like a parking lot now, but second old coin. That is awesome, folks. And it's in great condition, too. Beautiful buffalo. Very cool. I'm very happy with this. Alright, folks. Let's go get some more. That's a big copper. It's gotta be. There's Britannia. 1936, I think. Can't quite tell uh, what king's on the front there. But let me do some work on it. That's another big copper, folks. I can't believe it. And it's got a date. 1936. One penny. Wonder if it's Canada or New Zealand again. It could even be uh, from England. Who knows? Let me clean it up. It's got a nice patina on it. I'm not sure what it is. It is cracked. The only lettering. It's right up there. 6J maybe? 6I? If anybody has any idea, please let me know because this is a uh, mystery item right now. It's got a little kind of screw thing on the side there. Very strange. Sterling silver. Come on, focus. There it is. Oh my god. Too bad it's like corroded on the inside. Oh, oh my god, that is silver. Shutter. Now that's really, really cool. This is a freaking lens to an old Kodak. Wow. It still has the glass in it. That's incredible. I wonder how old this is. That just fascinates me. You can see where you could twist the lens and everything and... This part here, you could twist this whole thing and choose everything on here. That is so neat. Well, this is my favorite find of the day by far. Very cool. I'll clean it up more and show you in the wrap up. Unfortunately, I forgot my brush, so I can't get it nice and good right now. I think there's a date, and I think it says 1913. Pretty sure I see a date and it's 1913. Patented 1913. Can you see that? Dead center in the screen. Okay. Can you see the eagle in there? It's got it on both sides. That is freaking awesome. Clean this one up a little bit. Don't know if it says anything. I don't think it does. Wow, that is awesome. I have no idea what it is. I was thinking like lighter at first, but I think that might be like, could it be a match? Like for matches or something? I have no idea. I'll have to look for patent numbers or anything on it, but I don't see anything. Just an eagle on both sides. That is awesome. That is by far the coolest find of the day right there so far. Let me know what you think.